What's up, everybody? It is the first of the month, December 1st. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are 100% live. I just got my text message that says, what does it say? There we go. Boom. I get a text message every morning from David himself. And uh, it says, Benny's been working for quite some time trying to make this work. And uh, he's got a, a little online business that he's got rocking and rolling now. And I'm excited to unpack a little bit about his journey because I know that he's been, man, this guy's been working, cranking. He's been on our blueprints calls for a long time. I mean, <laughs> a really long time. Uh, he's a great example of somebody who's been consistent, working hard, grinding, going after it. Um, man, he's just been around our world for like, honestly, you know, I'll let him tell his story. I don't need to go into this, but honestly, I think he's been in Legendary's world before I was. Benny, I was just looking at, and is uh, Benny okay? I, I yeah, think yeah, yeah, that's good. fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm only calling you that because I we've chatted on uh, blueprints webinars and stuff. But check this out. I didn't even I I didn't even know about Legendary Marketer when you had purchased our blueprints, dude. Really? <laughs> I didn't even know they existed. I have met I had uh, I have known of like Dave from like Empower and stuff, but you've been around our community for three years. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. When I first Almost uh. Four. Yeah, when I first uh, joined it, I was just kind of like uh, taking my time, learning everything. And uh, at the time, I was working uh, as a tow truck driver. So I pretty much put in the time that I had, like free time. And mm. um, just basically uh, up until recently, I really started to focus. And that's what helped me grow a lot on TikTok and um, allowed me to see a lot more results. Mm. So bring us back into. All right. It's April 2018, and you hear about this company, Legendary Marketer. Uh, I I came around and became part of the Legendary team late 2018, so not that long after you. Um, but uh, <laughs> so funny. To bring us into your world back in 2018, tow truck driver, tell us about like just what what was life like then? What were you looking for? and and how things how are things since then and what's your journey been like over the last three years um back in 2018 well i was working as a tow truck driver full time uh five days a week and i was just basically looking for any other way to make money online i started looking online before just like looking just typing in uh what most people do on google and youtube how to make money online and i seen uh People are talking about drop shipping, um, Amazon FBA, print on demand, and affiliate marketing. Mm. So at the time, I was kind of like messing around with uh, like creating my own like uh, custom like uh, clothing brand, and I just needed to learn how to market it. So that's what kind of led me into the affiliate marketing part. So I started looking more and more into it, and uh, basically, it caught my interest. So that's when I uh, actually stumbled on uh, uh, Nathan Lucas's uh, videos on YouTube. And um, I just kept watching his videos and watching them. And then I just finally said, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to check this out. And so that's when I started the uh, that's when I joined uh, Legendary. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So you find Legendary, tried some other stuff, looked into other stuff. What? Was there anything in particular, like, tell us about what your experience at Legendary has been like and just, you know, what's your, what's it been like? Um, It's been pretty cool. I mean, I've learned, I mean, way more than just uh, what most people do is just looking on YouTube, trying to learn uh, new skills. I mean, they teach you basically everything like uh, that you need, like the fundamentals, the basics, the foundations to start an online business. And I haven't really found that anywhere else. Hmm. That's cool. I've yeah. seen you. Uh, I mean, I've, I've seen and chatted with you. We, every Thursday we do business blueprints webinars. I can't even remember how long ago, but it's probably been like two years or so ago 
we started doing those. So you bought the blueprints 2018. We weren't even doing those webinars. Like yeah. That wasn't even a part of the thing. And yeah. just because you've been a part of our community for so long, uh, that piece got added on. And so did the decade and a day, which was something that you didn't even have access to when you purchased. Our yeah. All of that has been just sort of added, I guess, value. Um, and we haven't called you up and been like, Hey, by the way, you've got to pay another $500 for this or, you know, hey, no one's no one from our team, right. Has called you up and been like, Hey, you want to buy something else? You want to buy something more? You want to, pay us for extra add-on to the blueprints right yeah. at least not that i know of <laughs> no that's uh yeah that's a good part about the blueprints like uh once you invest in the blueprints uh you guys uh pretty much just i guess uh grandfathered me into any future uh updates to the blueprints yeah which we do with everybody i mean like we just sometimes we'll just add stuff on into the blueprints uh when dave this last january uh updated the entire business blueprints course the affiliate uh the affiliate marketing business blueprint uh everybody just got it uploaded in their back office for free and it was like hey by the way this is brand new this is the best training dave's ever done in his career online here you go <laughs> you know he didn't sell a 2.0 or something else or whatever like we could have done a launch around it we could have done a lot of stuff um but we just it was like, here, just let's keep this thing. Let's make this the best we can possibly make it. So um, anyway, for you uh, with where you're at now, like tell us your sort of, have there been struggles over the last couple of years? Um, have you, uh, have you tried different things and what's working for you now? Uh, yeah, there's definitely been struggles. Um, when I attended the decade in the day, I started running uh, Facebook ads to uh, ClickBank offers, and I've had my account banned like four times. So it's just a matter of uh, learning from mistakes, uh, just overcoming problems, and basically uh, just moving forward. Mm. And what's helped me uh, a lot lately these past couple months is uh, Eric Forner. He's been uh, mentoring me, and cool. basically uh, he's helped me pretty much grow my followers on TikTok from, um, I believe it was like 17,000 to 100,000 in the last two months. Awesome. And that was also due to because uh, back in September, uh, my YouTube channel was suspended. So oh. yeah, so that gave me more time to focus on my TikTok account. So cool. I just so recently you were putting a lot of time into the YouTube. Yeah. Nice. So I just recently uh, got it unsuspended like uh, two weeks ago. Hmm. So I got I got to focus on that as well. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, yeah there has awesome. been some struggles. Yeah, there's been well, there's always lots of struggles, and there's always people in our community who are willing to help. People like Eric, people like uh, Brian, people like Sarah, people like there's Stacy, Calvin, um, lots of people who have had success and are still doing really well. Um, and are just willing to help people and do a good job at that. That's yeah. the end of the story. What's what's your journey on TikTok? So you're creating videos, you're making videos, you're posting. Was there anything that was key or that changed or any any big shifts that you did in your content that helped you grow so much over the last two months? Um, what I've noticed is that um, those how-to videos, like you teach us a lot in the blueprints, um, those, those are pretty good. Um, they get a lot of, uh, views and followers here and there, but what I've noticed is that, uh, when you tell your story or you have like, a like a video that has like some type of emotional hook, people really gravitate towards that more because people Ooh. like to follow other people's journey. They like to see what's going to cool. happen next. Kind of like, uh, when people watch a movie, yep. they want to know how it's going to end. You know what I mean? Hmm. So I yeah, think that, so totally. that's what uh, my main takeaway is from that. Have you been putting together like a string of multiple videos or what have you been doing? Um, well, I have a lot of videos right now on TikTok. So my strategy now is that throughout the week, I'll create three new ones a day and then I'll post two new ones every day. And then one of them is going to be a, a, a repost. 
So after a while, I'm just kind of like building up a library of uh, TikTok videos. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What um, is there any part in particular that you feel like has gotten the most engagement on your videos and stuff, or like what? What do you focus on? What do you tell people? What do you explain? Um, I just kind of like break it down as far as like uh, the affiliate marketing, but like I make it simple. I don't say um, I try to avoid saying like um, here's some affiliate programs that uh, you can sign up for. I just I kind of rephrase it and saying, oh, these companies will pay you to send them new customers. And then I just go into the company and then I just pretty much uh, explain the process. But just for for people who don't know what affiliate marketing is. Bingo. So not talking a bunch of insider language, but instead yeah. speaking, yeah, a little bit more to like what people are like, like what they're used to hearing about. Right. So making it sound like something they already understand. There's this, there's this concept I, that um, when I started 10 years ago, I started reading some of the best old school copywriters in the world. And uh, one of them, um, I'm blanking on the name said, you know, you have to enter the conversation that's already going on inside the prospect's mind. And so if you're, if you're putting out videos, hoping to sort of get some response from people who might be interested, you got to ask yourself, what are they already thinking about or what language would they already understand? So I love that because there's a lot of people out there who are just posting nonstop talking about a, the niche insider terms of their industry that other people just don't know about. That happens a lot in weight loss. That happens a lot yeah. in well, lots of industries, but the industry you're in is the make money online industry or affiliate marketing industry. And that happens a lot in that industry where people start talking about like number one way to get started with affiliate marketing. And it's like, no one on TikTok wants to know that they yeah. want to know that's not a benefit to them. Right. Or, or, um, here's some really bad marketing here's how to get one year of coaching with me for half price, right? Yeah. Like no one wants coaching with you for half price, right? They want a benefit. They want an emotional benefit or if, or in your case, like if you're talking about making money, they want a fiscal benefit, right? So like, here's how I've, uh, I, I was formerly a tow truck driver three years ago. And here's how I've built my little, uh, piece of the online pie over the last three years. Check this out. Right. And, and giving people some sort of emotional benefit, a little bit of a feeling of like, I, what am I going to get out of this? Right. Yes. You're sharing your story, but also if you're going to, if you're going to spin and start to go towards like a, here's a call to action that should be based around terms that people are already aware of uh, and making it something that's understandable. That's why people in this industry um, who are successful uh, in, in many ways, what they'll do is they'll they'll frame things in terms of like big companies, right? So it's super smart that you're doing this like, hey, here's companies that that will pay you to bring them new leads or new customers, right? Then it's like, yeah. oh, Amazon would pay me? Like, okay, now I'm listening, right? because there's different things that are going on inside the person's mind when you're doing marketing. There's, uh, they're thinking, is this credible? Is this a scam? Is this real? Is this something I can do? Is it legit? Are there other people doing it? They want to know all of these different things and they're scan. It's like a scanner, the old school scanners. There's like, yeah. and they're scan, 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 scan. That either comes out clear and it makes sense or it comes out, uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem that legit. And I'll just tell you the scanner is like when the scanner's going down, it's like if you're just talking about network marketing, affiliate marketing and all that stuff, they're like, geez, dude, you know the amount of scams and like bad people yeah. I've met in that industry? I'm not interested. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I think I think that's why it's important to break it down into simpler terms. And I try to avoid the uh, curse of knowledge. So what a lot of people do is they learn the business, they learn the lingo, and then they expect or they just think that everybody's going to understand what they're saying. So that's what I try to do is avoid the curse of knowledge. Yeah, right, right, right. And 
And I, I agree with that. I do that. I try to do that a lot in my training, but I, I think sometimes I even struggle with that. That's a good reminder for me even because, um, the, the times where I've put out training or the times that I've helped somebody with training or I've, or we've put out a course or something like that, uh, the times where it's been most impactful or it's had the most impact is where at every point, uh, where I've made a point or I've talked through a topic, I've unpacked exactly what each of those terms means, uh, and why it matters. And so, damn, that was a good reminder. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, it looks like I learned something this morning. <laughs> um, so, so over the last couple of years, you're building this out hundred thousand followers. Look, however the hell you get to a hundred thousand followers is, is it's a big accomplishment. You've learned something about the social media algorithm. You've learned how to tap into that, but you've also forget about all that junk. You've also learned how to tell your story and be authentic and, um, and connect with people. Probably that's my guess. And from what I know of you over the past couple of years, like I would say like, there's probably a good chance that, um, you've had to learn that didn't come easily and you've had to learn it. You said you were nervous to come on today's show. So yeah. like maybe that's been a little bit of nervousness or, you know, whatever, but how is that part of it been the part where you're connecting with people, real people, uh, sharing a bit of your journey and story. What's that been like? Has it been hard, easy? Um, no, it's been pretty, it's been kind of tough actually, uh, telling my story. Um, that's something that I really had trouble the most with because mm -hmm. it's not that, um, I don't think I don't have a story. It's just, uh, I feel like if I tell my story, it feels like I'm looking for sympathy or I'm trying to get somebody to feel sorry for me. So I try to like, uh, I'm incorporating it more into my videos, but I'm not trying to make every video just, uh, about my story. Here's my story. Here's my story. Here's my story. Yeah. Yeah. I, you don't have to, right. I mean, even, um, even, even doing, um, how to videos, even doing stuff about your story, even doing stuff about other people's story and journey. I feel like this sort of melting pot of different types of content can be really helpful. For instance, like there's a guy, uh, Ian who does that and he does, uh, his, his videos are day in the life of a bodyguard, right? He has day in the life yeah. of a bodyguard part like 70 at this point. And he does those and he tells funny, interesting stories about his days as a bodyguard. And it's his way of, of having fun with it, but also allowing people to attach to him. And people, in, in particular content creators, undervalue that ability for people to connect to them or be attachable. There's a psych psychology term called, uh, or a theory called attachment theory. And um, making yourself attachable and giving people ways, it's sort of like, sticking out tentacles and allowing people to grab on and be like, Hey, I want to take me along for the ride, you know, um, is super key, super important, but also you can create different style of content based on the algorithm and what's going on in the algorithm, uh, to get more of those followers. Right. So it's, it's a both and combination. Uh, and also then the last piece is, is how do I convert these people? Right? Like how do I get them to take meaningful action and uh, help build my business and also help start their business and get themselves going. So um, yeah, super cool. I love it. I love it. That's yeah. awesome. What, what in terms of like where you're going um, in terms of like what you're doing, where you're going, What's the plans moving forward? Like what, what do you got going, moving forward? What's, yeah. What's, what's, what's the next step? Um, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing on TikTok, and then also, um, continue to build my YouTube channel. And then also, uh, I want to start moving into mentoring and coaching. Cool. Cause I also have a Facebook group that I direct people to. Cool. And I'm starting to go live um, a little bit more on my uh, TikTok account. So I actually went live yesterday and I was just um, I was just hanging out. I was just like um, pretty much uh, posting uh, stuff, uh, a video on my YouTube channel. And then people are coming in, asking me questions. And um, 
they were asking me like, oh, what's the best way to make money online? Or um, like, what is like, uh, I posted a video about the sales funnel and then I just went over it like in my live and people were just like, oh, saying, oh, that's pretty valuable. Thank you, you know, thanks for the information. So that's something I'm looking um, forward to going into as well, just mentoring and uh, teaching other people. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Mentoring and teaching other people is, um, yeah, something I, I was just actually, since you said that, I just jumped quickly over to your Facebook. You only made that a month ago and it's already got 63 people. So yeah. <laughs> dude, nice work. It's awesome. And I feel like, uh, you know, from what I know of you from the time that we've, I mean, it's not like we chat all the time or anything, but just from what I know of you, you're such a quick implementer. Like you're so quick to implement things and you, and it's not like you just implement it and then quit or something. Like you really stick with stuff. You really are learning really, really valuable skills and, and earning while learning. Right. Um, and I will say too, that's great to hear that you're going live more as well, because uh, for anybody who wants to know what do I see on my end when I when I watch people make a ton of of sales, uh, they're going live and because it breaks this psychological thing. I won't get too far into this, but the psychological element of seeing someone live that you've been following for a couple weeks or a couple months or whatever, um, man, there is a big psychological wall that is broken down when somebody sees you and experiences you in a live format, especially, I don't know what it is, but especially on TikTok, especially on TikTok where it feels like this just real raw, candid conversation. You can, you can touch and, and almost like reach out and touch somebody. Yeah. It's just super cool. So I'm glad to hear that. Um, that's something that for people who do that regularly, um, in particular, people who have done that in a live format on a daily basis, I've seen them go to six figures faster than anybody else I've ever seen online ever. Um, uh, like mind numbing fast, uh, where they spend an hour to three hours a day on a live at the same time or around the same time, maybe not every day, but most days. Yeah. And it's, it's, it, it spins my mind. I have messages with Dave in our Slack channel where we're just like, what the hell is happening? Like, how is this possible? And we just think back, you know, to 10 years ago, we we're like, how did we not have this? Um, yeah. but it's just an opportunity that's that's um, that's in front of people right now. So I'm glad you're taking advantage of it because that's huge. Um, for anybody who's sitting here who's thinking about um, uh, for anybody who's sitting here and is thinking about how do I get started? How do I get going online? How do I get moving? Um, what would you say to them if they're if they're thinking of putting in their first video or they're they're up they got some stuff in their drafts on TikTok and they're waiting to hit post because they're nervous? <laughs> what would you say to those people? Um, I mean, I'm gonna say what everybody else says is just post it. You know, like my videos weren't good at all. I don't think. I mean, don't go like to my TikTok and go all the way to my first videos because they're terrible. Um, but uh, I just posted them and I just had the uh, mentality like, oh, nobody's gonna see these. You know, so I just yeah. like kept posting and posting and then eventually I got better. I learned pretty much the tips that you taught us in the Thursday webinars, like how to start off with the hook, um, giving a call to action. And I just got better over time. So just, uh, I mean, yeah, it is kind of scary to post and just think about what other people are gonna think about like all oh, this person on TikTok, you know, but just post it and I mean, learn, I mean, you're gonna get better after, after a while. Totally, hit post. Hit yeah. post, keep hitting post. And the cool part is, is you posted so many times that honestly to like scroll, to get to your first videos would just be like, yeah, I don't that was the goal. That was the goal. Dude. Right. So it's like, part of it is like, if you're embarrassed about the old stuff that you've put up, it's just like, just keep making more and just bury that shit yeah. way down at the bottom. Like just bury it. Doesn't matter. Um, cool, man. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming on today. Um, if you need anything, let us know. We're happy to help. Obviously, you know where to find me. Um, and uh, and if you um, 
uh, let me see if I can put up your uh, TikTok. There we go. Um, and uh, yeah, come, well, hey, you'll always be around. So I, yeah, you know, sometimes if it's the first time meeting somebody, I'm like, hey, come back around, but you're always around. Yeah. So, um, we'd love to have you back on here in a couple months and see how things are going. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having me on. Heck yeah. Anytime. All right, guys, uh, give him a follow. All right. You can see his link. I'll also just put it in the uh, chat just in case, but it's Benjamin. I'm not sure. How do I pronounce your last name? Zuniga. Zuniga. <laughs> Got it. Benjamin Zuniga one. All right. So it's B E N J A M I N Z U N I G A one, the number one. Um, and uh, I put it in the chat there as well. So you can give him a follow, but watch his stuff. He's been around for such a long time and he's a good dude. He's just a good guy. And that's like, you know, yes, he, there's probably a lot of marketers out there that you can follow, you can watch. Um, but this guy's got a lot of humility. He's shown a lot of resilience. Um, it's actually pretty rare to find somebody who's hung around in this industry for that long, three and a half years. So that's in, in like uh, marketing years or in like online digital space years, that's like three decades. Um, so kudos to you, Benny. Uh, you've been cool and it's been fun having you around on our, in our world for, for such a long time. Um, and just as a few final notes, guys, if you want, you can text the letters W U L to eight, one, three, two, nine, six, eight, five, five, three. So eight, one, three, two, nine, six, eight, five, five, three. If you text the letters W U L W U L we will uh, send you a text message every morning reminding you that we're going live. Uh, if you guys want any merchandise that says like be legendary or F average be legendary, you can go to be legendary.shop and that's all we got for the day. I'm going to put his uh, handle up one more time. You can find Benny on TikTok. Go give him a follow uh, and get into his world plugin. And uh, he's a good dude. He'll help you out. And uh, yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow. Same time, same place. Tomorrow is Thursday. Uh, and I'll be flying out tomorrow afternoon to go to our mastermind in Florida, uh, which is over this weekend. Our masterminds are awesome. You're going to see some photos, videos from there. We might even go live from the mastermind on Friday. So if you're here watching right now, tune in live at 10 a.m. Eastern on Friday, because I think we're probably going to go live uh, from our mastermind mansion on Friday. It's going to be home. So, all right. See you guys. Peace out.